city of Troy, a place of legend, of heroes and gods. But its fate was sealed with a simple golden apple. Eris, the goddess of discord, tossed the apple inscribed to the fairest among the goddesses. Hera, queen of the gods, desired it. Wise Athena coveted it. And Aphrodite, goddess of love, craved it. Their dispute fell to a mortal man, Paris, prince of Troy. Each goddess offered him a bribe, power, wisdom, or the love of the most beautiful woman in the world. Paris, blinded by desire, chose Aphrodite. His prize? Helen, wife of King Menelaus of Sparta. Their love was instant, their passion undeniable. Yet their union was a betrayal, a spark that would ignite a war to consume nations. Menelaus, enraged by the abduction of his wife, called upon his brother Agamemnon, the powerful king of Mycenae. A thousand ships set sail for Troy, carrying a force of Mycenaean warriors, the greatest heroes of Greece. Achilles, the swift-footed, nearly invincible warrior. Odysseus, the cunning strategist, Agamemnon, driven by a lust for power and revenge. The Trojans, led by King Priam and his noble son Hector, prepared for the inevitable onslaught. The clash of armies shook the very foundations of the earth. The plains outside Troy became a battleground where heroes clashed and legends were forged. For ten long years, the war raged on. The sun rose and set on scenes of both valor and brutality. Achilles, consumed by rage over the death of his beloved Patroclus, rampaged through the Trojan ranks. Hector, the Trojan prince, fought with courage and honor defending his city against the invaders. Their final duel was a clash of titans, a testament to the destructive power of both love and hate. But war is a fickle master. Even the greatest heroes are not immune to its cruel hand. Achilles, seemingly invincible, fell to Paris's arrow, guided by the vengeful god Apollo. Hector, stripped of his armor, was dragged behind Achilles's chariot, a tragic end to a noble warrior. Section 4 Cunning Odysseus, the fall of Troy. As the war dragged on, hope dwindled on both sides. The Greeks, weary and demoralized, sought a way to end the stalemate. It was Odysseus, known for his cunning mind, who devised a plan as audacious as it was deceptive. The Greeks would build a giant wooden horse, an offering of peace to the Trojans. In its hollow belly, however, a select group of Greek warriors would hide, waiting for the cover of night. The Trojans, desperate for an end to the war, fell for the ruse. The horse was brought within the city walls, a symbol of their supposed victory. As night fell and the Trojans celebrated, the Greeks emerged from their wooden prison. The sack of Troy began. Section 5. The Aftermath. A hollow victory? Troy, once mighty and proud, was reduced to ashes. The streets ran red with the blood of its defenders. Women and children were enslaved, their cries echoing through the ruined city. Helen, the woman who had sparked the conflict, was returned to Menelaus, her fate uncertain. The victorious Greeks set sail for home, carrying with them the spoils of war and the scars of a decade of bloodshed. Yet victory came at a terrible cost. Countless lives lost, families torn apart, and a city erased from the face of the earth. The echoes of war lingered long after the last embers had died down, a haunting reminder of the price of beauty, revenge, and ambition. Section 6. Echoes of the Past. Myth and reality intertwined. The story of the Trojan War has been told and retold for millennia. It exists in that hazy realm between myth and history. Did the war truly happen as Homer described in his epic poems, or are these tales embellished by time and imagination? Archaeological evidence suggests that a city named Troy did exist in the Bronze Age, and that it was destroyed by fire. Whether its destruction was sparked by a stolen queen and a giant wooden horse remains a matter of debate. Perhaps the true power of the Trojan War lies not in its historical accuracy, but in its enduring themes. It is a story about love, loss, betrayal, and the futility of war. It reminds us that even the greatest heroes are flawed and that even the most powerful empires are not invincible. The echoes of Troy continue to resonate today, reminding us of the enduring power of myth and the timeless lessons it can teach us.